Our next guests are a power couple who met while starring on Showtime's hit show Soul Food. It's a whole lot of sexy. They're the definition of couple goals. Please welcome our friends, Nicole Ari Parker and Boris Kojo. Hey. Oh, hey. yeah. So nice to see you. Look at this. Look at this. So good. Get in here. Great to see you. Come on in. Please. Mario, that's a whole lot of sexy right there. I just did I love, I love. We need to hang out with them more. Okay, because we're sitting at home with kids who tell us we're not. That's right. Yeah, I know. I know that feeling. We're embarrassing to our kids. But I'm always happy to see you guys and always rooting for you because you know how tough it is, obviously, in this business and especially when your significant other is in the same line of work and kind of making it work. How long y'all been together now? In May, we'll be 17 years married. Look at that. 20 years together. We're both super blessed to be uh, able to work, and that's how we met. Yeah. Right? So we met on the set of Soul Food. So, yeah. So, uh, so you know that, what you were getting into. Absolutely. That's right. 100%. Yeah. We saw each other at like 5 in the morning without hair and makeup. <laughs> that's and, the real deal. You know. <laughs> yeah, but, but you all still looking great. So <laughs> that is like, right. Now, are we bi-coastal right now with both of our jobs? Yes. How is there, uh, is there a trick to doing that? You know what it is? It, we, we surprise each other. Like, I jump on the plane he and I go over does. there without the kids. Yep. Which is very important. That yeah. always makes so, my day. Yeah, so sometimes you just gotta, you know, jump on the plane and, and make sure that you're at the door with uh, out clothes on. <laughs> oh! <laughs> hey, I agree. You can never stop dating your wife. That's right. Yeah. You, you, you gotta That's make that time. Right. Speaking of the kids, how old are they now? 15 and 17. Yeah. Oh, wow. But my 15 year old is the same height as. He's 6'4. His dad, yeah. The size yeah. 14 yeah. shoe. In my house, he's like, Mom, do you want some pancakes? Uh, no, and the voice is, the voice oh. is down here now. Yeah. <laughs> I, was, I was at home doing something and I heard a voice and I thought somebody was in the house. <laughs> like Talking I was. to Sophie, I was like, yeah. Sophie has a boy over. Yeah. We got to go to. Yeah. And it was like. Was like oh, that's It was funny. Nicholas. So you you're see. literally a few years away from being uh, empty nesters. Yeah, two years. I know. That's wild. Cool. What do you think about it, huh? Yeah. I'm. Really? Yes! He's, so <laughs> He's fired up. <laughs> we did it. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. <laughs> Dang, that's so funny you say that, Boris, because I'm like, hey, guys, USC's great, and I wanted to stay here, uh, and you can stay. I, I want to be like no. Dallas. Remember that show? Everybody lived together <laughs> right there. Oh, no. Oh, no. You're trying to get him out. Oh, oh yeah. Right. You know, so that's what we raise him for, yeah. right? That's what we got him ready right. for, so to see the world. So looking at East Coast schools, which is like heaven, so I can be in New York and just stop by her dorm, wherever she is, yeah. DC. Spy on or, her. Yep. Speaking of New York, Lisa Todd Wexley, yeah. the that's same right. stealer for a Just Like That. Congrats. This Dumb. character was huge. Every time you came on the screen, everybody was flipping out. What did it mean to you? What did it feel like to you? The outfits uh, alone. Wow. The outfits alone. Like the things that my character picked up her kids in oh. from school. Like oh, that's funny. to the nines. I was like, I need to reevaluate my life choices yeah. because she's so fly. She's so fantastic. So fantastic. I was a little starstruck. Were you? You know, because were you a fan of the original? Yeah. yeah. And uh, they're just all incredible and um, they were all just so warm. They were like, it's okay. It's okay. She can get another take. It's fine. <laughs> but you don't need this. That's awesome, though, because it's a big production. It's like yes. shooting a movie every yes. season. Oh, right yes. there. Yeah, it's major right Unbelievable. there. Unbelievable. My wardrobe fittings, okay, I don't know if you could appreciate this, but I know you could appreciate It's like <laughs> being in Bergdorf's just for you. Yes. Okay? Like, someone is talking about the, the Fendi bag over here, and someone is ordering the, the Louboutin from right. Paris. Boris mm -hmm. and Mario, it's called work, okay? We no, that's how stage can. 19 yeah. is. That's the same thing for me with my outfits. <laughs> With my uniform, <laughs> nice segue. Coming different right colors. <laughs> yes, blue and blue. Blue and blue. Blue and blue. Tall and but tall. He's such That's a right. hot fireman, though. Really That's what's great really about, though, having a role like that. You know what you're wearing. You ain't got to worry about wardrobe. It fitting. is so it's amazing. Pump, right? I love it. <laughs> It's incredible. <laughs> Any more crossovers with Grey's Anatomy? We love when you yeah, did that's, that. Yeah, that's, we're, we're one big happy family. I mean, we do it all the time. It's great. It's really fun. Uh, mm -hmm. But you're here today to talk about the Black Business Accelerator. First of all, tell us what it is and why it's so important to you. Well, you know, Amazon came to us and they were like, they really were, they had started this initiative really showcasing and promoting uh, businesses that were on the site. And we're like, well, I just happen to be a black business yeah. owner, a female, black female business owner. And the opportunity to help support other businesses was just, it was just a perfect fit for us. You know, we got to highlight um, some really great products out there. And you know, black owned doesn't just mean for a black customer. That's right. These were, you know, alcohol free cocktail mix. This was 
uh, fitness accessories. Yeah. These were, you know, um, clo clothing. It was just an incredible world out there. Yeah. And what I found when I started my business, The Gym Wrap, I just felt like, you know, you can get your product off the ground, you can get your distribution and your manufacturing and everything working great, but then you don't necessarily have the promotional support, yeah. you know, and the access and the eyeballs on you. And social media helps, but Amazon came along mm -hmm. and really showcased businesses that um, just had incredible products, great prices, and we said, yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. And anyone and everyone uh, can have access to it. What, what would you say is one thing that no one tells you when starting? Your small business. How hard it is. You know, I think I think it's yeah. it's it's uh, what she just spoke to. It's it's the the details in starting a business and some of the challenges that you face when you're trying to get a company off the ground. And and again, that's that's why the Black Business Accelerator is so uh, uh, helpful because they are with you every step of the way, right? So if there's questions, if there's challenges, some bottlenecks that occur. They're there, right there, to hold your hand and to figure out a way how to make you successful. And supporting black business is not the right thing to do. It's the smart thing to do, right? Mm. Because it increases the bottom line across the board, right? So it's not about charity. It's about investing in businesses that do well. Sure. Everyone wins in that sense. I right. love that. You are resilient. Since you two have been uh, together now for pretty much 20 years, right? We we want to know uh, who does what in the relationship. Oh, we got so paddles we have for you. Oh, 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 for you. Ooh, okay. oh, we like these. And yeah. you're going to show us what we're talking about How right here. How did you here, know so. that the colors, the colors were... Oh, they'd be matched. I mean, Is that right? See that? what Look we did that. here? Mari That's and I worked see? on that all morning. See, you guys. <laughs> we just get up early and start thinking of these things. Incredible. So we'll start off easier. Who's the softy parent? Who's the who's the one that the kids go to first when they want permission? Boris is the oh, softy? The soft it depends on the no. subject. Oh, if you it said depends, depends, Claire, you're the softy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm the softy. Sue me. Oh, okay. I love yeah. that. So you're the tough cop. Yeah. Tough oh, cop right wow. there. Okay. okay. Who right. knows all the teachers' names? <laughs> really? Yeah. I'm the designated parent teacher person. <laughs> wow. Yeah. There has to be one stuff. in the family. Yeah. yeah. Oh, wow. Okay. I love it. Who takes longer to get ready? <laughs> Come on. <laughs> not even, not even the competition. Not even close. All right, I mean, last crazy. one. Who's more likely to snoop at the kids' cell phones? Oh. By the way, oh. nothing wrong with that. You yeah. got to be all over She's that. in the FBI. Really? Full I mean, on FBI, it's, CIA. You get all my wife's yes. Do you have all the passwords <laughs> oh. and everything? And you, or do you have that 360 thing? No, it's because they're a little She knows older where now. they are, and then she calls them to see if they say they're say with that, See if you catch them slipping. Exactly. <laughs> I like that. Yeah. I was 15 once. Okay. Right, hey, now we got to take advantage of technology. It's she good stuff. Play. When my when my son's uh, girlfriend is over, hi Harley. <laughs> <laughs> she literally turns into like. Um, you FBI know. agent. Really? Oh, yes. oh, yeah. That's great. I've got oh, the yeah. telescope down in the living room. <laughs> she doesn't play. That's fine. Uh, Behind the I couch, turn all like... the house cameras on tonight. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, you can't be guys, sneaking Nicole up these Guys, Nicole Let's thank them for coming by. Thanks again, guys. Thank you so much, you guys. So Here's all. Can we have these? And listen, when we come back, can having a sugar daddy get you out of jury duty? Huh. Evidently so. <laughs> Attorney Allison Treasel explains. Coming up next.